homeless now for approximately 12 years. And um, this week it's been brought to my attention um, that there are cuts being made to Nottingham Supporting People Fund. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. Supporting People Fund housing related support services for a wide range of vulnerable people, including older people, people with mental health issues, young people, people with learning disabilities, women fleeing domestic violence and offenders. As a result of this programme, Nottingham City has seen a considerable drop in the levels of street homelessness, antisocial behaviour, evictions and debts. Eric Pickles has even stated that every pound spent on supporting people, it can save six pounds on other services. Despite this, Nottingham City Council are cutting this programme disproportionately. And as a result of this, the following services are going to, uh, going to complain as of the 31st of March this year. 104 services for older people. Six homeless services. Four services for offenders. Four substance abuse services. Three services for people with mental health issues. Three services for young people at risk. Two teenage parent projects. Two homeless family services, one homeless resettlement service, a refugee service, and a traveller service. That's a total of 113 services, ladies and gentlemen. And on top of that, there's going to be other service closures to advice agencies and other services that support our young people, our children. The effect of these cuts on our city, on our community, is going to impact on the elderly, women who have experienced domestic violence, the homeless, the disabled, those with drug and alcohol issues. Sorry. The <laughs> papers stuck together. Ex offenders, people with mental health issues, and young vulnerable people. These cuts will be catastrophic. They will impact on our communities for many years to come, ladies and gentlemen. A few years ago in the Isle of Wight, significant reductions were made to our supporting people uh, programme, and this is what happened in the Isle of Wight. There were more penalties at risk, more antisocial behaviour, lack of support for third landlords from providing accommodation to vulnerable people. There is an increase in homelessness, offending, self-harm, substance misuse, health issues and financial problems. As people's issues became more complex, they became more expensive. There is a report highlighting these findings. And you know what? Councillor Collins over there knows about this report. He knows what the effect will be as he cuts the supporting people budget this Monday. And I think it's a disgrace. This week, I've been working with colleagues to close a hostel for young homeless women. These women are aged between 16 to 19. The service is due to close on the 31st of March. It is likely